Now, since this is a single cab, we gotta see if it's fast, right? Gotta see if this 6.4 Hemi punches. Ooh. Yep. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a 2022 Ram 2500 single cab. This is a true work truck. Now, before we get in the video, I do want to mention a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Provo, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the inventory in the description down below. This one's available for sale. They also have another one that is finished in white as well. <laughs> I thought it was funny. So yeah, check them out. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time I purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 6.4 liter Hemi V8 that goes to an eight speed automatic transmission. It's good for 410 horsepower and then 429 pound feet of torque. And uh, it's a Hemi. Now let's go to the front end of the Tradesman. So first off, you can see we've got our 2500 heavy duty badge here on the side. And this is finished in bright white, AKA work truck white is what I like to call it. And then you guys can see here with the headlights, halogen lights, you got the turn signal there at the bottom. And then also that's closed off here on the side of the bumper. We do have tow hooks here on the front end. We've got our Chrome Ram logo. And notice how the bumper, right, uh, with the material use is not going to show a bunch of chips and everything. Well, it's not gonna chip easily like a painted bumper would, which is pretty cool. And so, yeah, there's the front end of the truck. Now coming on the side here, we've got two 45 millimeter tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear. And yes, we do have steelies. This is again, a work truck ultimately. And then here's a quick look at the front suspension. And it's crazy because like, I'm so used to reviewing off-road trucks and everything that just like maximize, you know, the amount of tire they can fit in the wheel well, whereas this is the, well, exact opposite. There's so much space. We got our 6.4, Hemi badge, we've got a Ram badge down below. You guys can see this has the trailer tow mirrors. And again, it is a single cab. You can see the door handle matches the mirrors. And then before we give you the full side view, since this is a 2500, we do have coil suspension here in the back end. And we'll see how that affects payload and then ride quality when we, well, payload when we talk about payload and then ride quality when we drive it. But there's your side view. So here's a key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, and then the Ram logo there on the back. We have a payload capacity of 3,618 pounds here. With this truck, we have an eight foot bed as well. And you can see we actually have an outlet here in the bed so you can power some stuff with the truck. We got the cargo light there at the top as well. And other than that, again, pretty basic. So lift that up. There you go. Now let's finish things up here with the rear so you guys can see with the tail lights here. It's the base tail lights. Got the Ram logo, 4x4 badge. And then notice the bumper again has that same like protective coating as the front bumper. And then you can see here at the receiver hitch down below. Now this truck is kind of more about hauling rather than towing. That's why it has a, you know, pretty solid payload capacity with a longer bed. That being said, you can still easily uh, tow well over 10,000 pounds. Um, now I don't have the exact build sheet on this truck, so I couldn't tell you the exact specific towing capacity for this specific truck, but 6.4 Hemi single cab, I'm guessing it's gonna be like max towing capacity is gonna be somewhere in the mid teens roughly, but don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. Anyways, there you go. Now here's the door panel, and this is the funniest thing. With the single cabs, they just have this extension because like a normal Ram door panel ends here and you can see like this has just been like plopped on as an extension. It is the funniest thing in the truck industry. Um, but you can see you actually have some uh, padding here for your arms. Front windows are automatic. There are no rear windows. Again, trailer tow mirrors. And if you guys don't believe me, see you got the sticker here that shows us the payload capacity. And we have the other sticker here that shows us, well, my shadow apparently, but well, let's put it this way. I know it's sideways, so you guys are gonna have to like flip your phones or whatever, but gross vehicle white rating and everything doesn't show me the uh, towing. But anyways, here are these seats. So you can see with the cloth, and then also the gray here in the center portion, then kind of like darker gray on the outside. And there's the pedal layout down below. You can see for the outlet there on the bed, we've got our light control right here. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. Let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel. You guys can see pretty basic from a material standpoint. I love how they like have this perforated section though that's kind of padded. We do have cruise control, no radio controls in the back. We do have our gear limiter, controls there for the center stack, voice command, phone controls, all that. Oh, of course, turn signal, windshield wiper stock, and there you go. Now here's the center gauge cluster. It's mostly analog. You guys can see here with the gauges on 
either side. But we do have this center screen which you can scroll through a few different menus, see different bits of information on the truck. Pretty straightforward, pretty standard uh, setup and whoa, 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Now here is the center infotainment system. First off, we pop in reverse. We do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn the steering wheel and you got that zoom function as well with the camera. Resolution is really solid as well, which is another big plus. Now notice we've got our analog controls on the side, so like we can go to the compass, for example. But this is a touchscreen, uh, believe it or not. So if we pop back to radio, for example, you can see that you can use it as a touchscreen and you got more analog controls at the bottom and there you go. Now down below, we got a single zone climate and then you can see here with the parking sensors, tow haul mode, stability control, and then the trailer brake controls. Here is our transmission selector. It's got the dial shifter since this has the 6.4 Hemi. And then notice we got our drive line select. So this has two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low, and then neutral, no four wheel auto. And you can see down below there with all of the USBs and then notice some extra storage and then a full power outlet as well. And then here is the center console set up. So you can see there, notice we got a little USB. And then you can see the padding here and then a bunch of cup holders. And it turns up to be a seat and there's no storage space underneath because again, it's a tradesman. Got the uh, open glove box and then you have the other glove box down below. Manual mirror dimmer and uh, manual operation for opening the window. Now here is our window sticker and uh, you guys might get a little bit of sticker shock today. So base price $43,795 and notice it comes standard with a 3.73 axle ratio. We'll see if that changes because Ram is really good about showing that on the uh, window sticker because it's important for trucks, right? So you guys can see optional equipment here. So this has the protection group. So it actually has uh, skid plates, which would be great for this truck. You know, you could do, take it into like a uh, off-road environments while you're towing and all and hauling and all that kind of stuff. Um, Anti-spin differential, that's also important as well on the fly transfer case. Well, we saw that with that whole setup, but it doesn't look like they changed. So 373 is the axle ratio on this uh, particular truck. Six speakers, you gotta pay extra just to get six speakers. That is so funny. But total MSRP, $50,045. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood, both of the mirrors. And then throughout the rest of the rear and let's set off so setting off here in this single cab and it's been a little bit of time since i drove one of these the uh more interesting single cab that i reviewed earlier this year was that diesel if you guys remember that was definitely a unique truck you pretty much i mean it's, it's rare to see single cabs in general nowadays it's really rare to see diesel uh single cabs um you, you know just at like regular dealerships instead of just being like a fleet purchase right but anyways, first setting off, truck's super comfortable. I love the seats. So this thing that I have talked about quite a bit on the channel is I think that Ram definitely has the best seats on a base model truck. Now these are the same seats as what you have in like a Bighorn and they're just so comfortable. Again, for a base model truck, just really solid. Now compared to a four door truck, um, I'm not sure if there's a huge difference in ride quality. This might be a little bit rougher, but it's not like, it's not crazy, to be honest. It's not crazy at all. I'm interested to see, also the steering's pretty light. You know, it has that normal truck vagueness. Uh, and you sit up pretty high with this truck. Again, this has, um, it's crazy like the gap between the tire and the uh, fender itself. Um, but yeah, you definitely do sit up pretty high in this truck and it's, it's interesting. Not the best turning radius there, as you guys can see. It's kind of, kind of had to loop a little bit in the lane. Comfortable though. I mean, compared to other single cab work trucks, this is smooth. This is like a luxury car comparatively. Cause usually when you're in an unloaded single cab work truck, they most of them obviously use leaf springs. It is like just the bumpiest thing ever. This on the other hand though is it's so smooth that coil suspension and i mean it's not like the payload's solid too right almost four thousand pounds of payload capacity so it's not like you're giving up um too much by going with the uh, single cab route now since this is a single cab we got to see if it's fast right got to see if this 6.4 hemi punches 
Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Wow, it's, that's peppy. That is for sure. So yeah, let's get to sign things up with this truck. So first off, I mean, it's a work truck, right? It's not meant to be beautiful. It's meant to be practical. I love the front and rear bumpers, right? From a protection standpoint, it has skid plates. Like this is such a solid build on this truck because this is the type of work truck that you could take to any work site, right? I mean, yeah, if you're going like really far out there, you might want to put, you know, all-terrain tires on this. But I mean, this, you know, as it sits is pretty much set up and I created a space here. So now I got to go through a space that I created. Um, so yeah, it's, it's set up. Uh, and then from a drag perspective, having the coil suspension benefits this truck a massive amount. It's very smooth, very comfortable. And so, yeah, I don't really see a downside with this truck. I think if you want like the most comfortable work truck on the market, that's what Ram is offering right now. It's super capable, but it's also super comfortable. Now that's good. Something's up for our video on this 2022 Ram 2500 Tradesman long bed. And again, a huge shout out link to the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler and Provo for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I'll see all of you in the next video.